Hey everyone! Today, we'll show you exactly how to remove ink stains from clothes, and best of all, you probably already have what you need at home. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Blot, don't rub! If the ink stain is fresh, the last thing you want to do is rub it. Rubbing only spreads the stain and pushes the ink deeper into the fabric. What you want to do is blot the stain gently with a paper towel or a clean cloth. Keep dabbing the spot until you've absorbed as much ink as possible. Blot from the outside of the stain inward to prevent it from spreading further across the fabric. Pre-treat with rubbing alcohol. Now that you've removed as much surface ink as possible, it's time to treat the stain. Rubbing alcohol works wonders on ink. Just grab some rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol, and a cotton ball or cotton swab. You can also use an old clean cloth if that's easier. Apply the rubbing alcohol to the stained area by gently dabbing it. If you're using a cotton ball, hold it against the stain and let it sit for a minute or two. Alcohol helps break down the ink, making it easier to remove in the wash. A lot of people wonder why alcohol works so well on ink. Here's why. Ink, especially ballpoint pen ink, is often oil-based, and alcohol dissolves oils. A 2014 study on cleaning agents by the American Cleaning Institute found that rubbing alcohol is effective in breaking down ink and oil-based stains without harming fabric. Rinse with cold water. After you've let the rubbing alcohol work for a couple of minutes, it's time to rinse it out. Use cold water to rinse the fabric thoroughly. Make sure to run the water from the back of the stain so that you push the ink out of the fibers rather than through them. Why cold water? Heat can set ink stains, making them even harder to remove. Cold water helps to flush out the ink without locking it into the fibers. Apply laundry detergent. Next up, grab your favorite laundry detergent. Apply a small amount directly to the stain and gently rub it into the fabric. Use your fingers or even a soft brush to work the detergent into the stained area. Once it's worked in, let the fabric sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. If the stain is particularly stubborn, you might want to add a bit of white vinegar to the detergent. Vinegar is a natural stain remover and works well on ink. In fact, vinegar has been recommended by the U.S. Department of Agriculture as a natural stain remover for decades. Wash the garment. Once you've let the detergent sit, it's time to wash the fabric. Pop the garment into your washing machine and wash it as you normally would, but make sure you use cold water. As I mentioned earlier, heat can set the stain, and we definitely don't want that. If you don't have access to a washing machine, you can wash the fabric by hand in a bowl of cold water. Just make sure you give it a good rinse afterward. Air dry the garment. After washing, take a good look at the stain. If it's completely gone, great. You can dry the garment as usual. However, if the stain is still visible, do not put it in the dryer. The heat from the dryer can set the stain permanently. Instead, air dry the garment and repeat the process if necessary. Now, you might be asking why air drying is so important. Dryers work by applying heat, and heat can actually cause the ink to bond more tightly with the fabric. That's why it's best to air dry the item until you're 100% sure the stain is gone. And there you have it. A simple, step-by-step -step guide on how to remove ink stain from clothes using items you probably already have around your house. The key is to act fast, use the right tools like rubbing alcohol, and remember that cold water is your best friend. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Drop a comment below if you have any other laundry hacks you'd like to share or if you have questions about dealing with stubborn stains. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.